Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, if the motor winds in the cable with a constant speed of uh, 3 feet per second, determine the power supply to the motor. The load weighs 100 pounds and the efficiency of the motor is uh, 0.8. Neglect the mass of uh, the pulleys. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, a 14th edition by RC Bella. So we do know that power, okay, that's equal to the work done, okay, divided by the time taken, right? Which is just the rate at which uh, energy is released to the object of interest. And work done itself, we know it's just the force times the displacement cosine the angle between the force and the displacement vector divided by the time and therefore d and t gives us a speed therefore this just becomes f cosine theta times velocity all right so we are being asked here to determine the power supplied to the motor okay so what we need to do is to calculate the power output which is this and then using the efficiency formula calculate the power input so you can calculate this power output or power the rate at which energy is uh, released to this particular object by either using this object the way it is and determining thus the force okay in the cable or using the motor and determining the force in the cable so it's really up to you okay so one thing to take note of is the speed, the speed V is constant, therefore acceleration is zero. Right. So let's draw the free body diagram. We do have the weight like so. Um and then uh, I'll need to know right like I said there are two ways of solving this uh, so I have the weight like so and uh, since the acceleration is zero I expect let me do a section of this I'll do a section like so so we see the tension in the cable so let's say I have tension like so and we are assuming there is no friction between the cable and the pulley. Okay. Like so. Like so. Like so. All right. There we go. So if this is T here, this is T since the acceleration is uh, zero, this becomes T and this is T. Okay, and this is T and this becomes therefore 2T. Okay, and this is also 2T. Okay, so like I said, this problem can be solved from the perspective of the motor or from the perspective of the load. Okay. So let's solve it from the perspective of the motor and then we'll solve it from the perspective of the load. So for me to do so, I'll need to know the velocity transferred to uh, the load, okay? Because I want to solve it in two ways, okay? Uh, so let's say we want to use, uh, want to use, kinematics to just determine this again you don't have to do this if you are just solving this from just the motor because we've already been given the velocity there right the speed so we are just doing this for the sake of so that we have options again you have to know when you are solving it from the perspective of the load you have to be mindful now 
how the Lord is transferred from the mortar to uh, how the Lord is transferred from the Lord to the mortar, from the mortar to the Lord. Okay. So let's call this as uh, SB. We call this as SA. Right. So this just becomes SA plus 2SB is equal to the length. Mm -hmm. 2SB is equal to the length, therefore the velocity uh, plus the velocity in B is like so. Right. So being told that VB is just equal to 3 feet and is going down, therefore our VA okay, is going to be equal to 2VB okay uh, minus like so and therefore this just simply means our va is just equal to 2vb 2vb which is just a 3 like so and this is equal to 6 and the direction just changes to going up so this is going up so the load is going up okay all right Great, so like I said, we just want to solve it from, so let's say approach one, I'll just call this approach one. Okay, I say from, from the motor perspective, perspective, right? Okay, there we go. So from the motor perspective, uh, we already have everything there. So what we need to do is, uh, we do have the force. So we just say part P is just equal to F, um, F cos theta V. Okay, and our F there is just equal to 2T. Okay, and our T is just equal to the weight, W, which is just equal to 100 pounds. Okay, theta is equal to 0 degrees, and therefore cos 0 is just equal to 1. And our V is just equal to 3. And therefore power, uh, the power here, which is the power out is just going to be equal to uh, 2t okay cos 0 degrees cos theta times v and this is just equal to 2 by 100 um, cos 0 degrees by 3 and then the power out, right, so the power out here is just equal to 2 by 100, 200 by 3, that's 600, right? And the units here is uh, feet, uh, feet pound per second, right? So we know that the efficiency is just equal to power out divided by power in, okay? And we have a point eight equal to power out is a six hundred divided by power in. So power in therefore is just going to be equal to um, when we divide that six hundred make power in subject of formula. This just gives us a seven fifty. This is seven fifty feet. A pound per second, right? Mm -hmm. It's the rate of uh, the rate at which energy is released, right? Of course, so units of V last feet per second and units for T is pounds. 
okay so that's fine we found one part so let's work on uh, the perspective of the Lord uh, we saw this from the perspective of the Lord so we say from the Lord perspective okay there we go so what do we have we do have power and we said this is equal to force cosine theta times v and our f here from the perspective of our lord is just equal to t which is equal to 100 theta is just equal to zero degrees and our v which is equal to va is equal to six right here this v here this v here was equal to vb and it was equal to three okay and therefore our power is just going to be equal to 100 okay uh cos zero degrees by six okay and this is power out and power out therefore just becomes equal to power out is just going to be equal to 600 and the efficiency is just equal to power out <coughs> divided by power in so this just becomes 0 0.8 this equal to uh, 600 divided by power in and power in is equal to uh, the same value that is 750 feet pound per uh, second all right i guess we are done we have solved this particular problem by using two techniques not really two techniques from the perspective of the motor and the perspective of the load all right so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up um, continue sharing liking my videos bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast